Hey guys, doing a quick video here. Uh, common problem that I see with these Chinese pit bikes. If you're finding that you can get your bike started, but it'll only run with the choke on even after it's warmed up. And if you turn the choke off and it dies, it usually means there's an issue with the air fuel mixture. It's getting air from somewhere it's not supposed to be. So when you close the choke, the choke restricts air into the carb and it helps balance it out a little bit. So what often happens on these, let's see if I get a light here, there's a plastic spacer coming out of your engine. You have this 90 neck. There's a plastic spacer between the carburetor and this neck. People over tighten this screw and it cracks. So it'll start sucking air in there. It's getting air that it's not supposed to have in there. And then it uh, throws the fuel mixture off. You can run it without that. That's a heat spacer, it's not recommended. These are pretty cheap, so, and honestly, the other issue could be an air leak from somewhere else in the carb, uh, something wrong with the carb, a jet clogged or something like that. So it's often easier to just replace the whole carb. So the, the carb I got, you get a whole brand new carb, two of these, in case you break one again, and two fuel filters, so um, I think it's worth it. Even, you know, even if you're having issues with carb, I stopped trying to clean carbs on these pit bikes a while ago. You spend money for your carb cleaner and on uh, Amazon you can pick up a brand new carb that's you can throw right on or run great and they're 13 bucks. All right guys, I pulled the plastics off. Um, you don't need to pull the plastics off. The only reason I did that is to make this easier to see. You can usually work under that fender pretty easily. So, um, uh, for sake of time, I'm just going to show you real quick. Disconnect your fuel line. So clip here, pop that off. Make sure your fuel is off. Unscrew this. This is your throttle cable. If you haven't done a carb replacement, they're relatively simple. Fuel line is off. I put the new filter on. You put that on, make sure that arrow is pointing in the direction that you want your fuel to go. Um, throttle cable unscrews and pops out we'll set that aside to deal with later and then it's uh, just two 10 millimeter bolts here yeah so take your new spacer the o-ring you snap it into the groove there's little tabs that'll hold it in change the light here so you can see a little better all right so once that's in the groove notice these are not symmetrical when you put that on you want the large see this top is flatter than the bottom um, I actually bought one before that wasn't running right and uh, that's all it was this thing I had to flip it over and then it ran good so all right so start your two bolts in just you can kind of hang them here like this spacer gasket side towards your metal neck uh, put that in push your bolts slightly through that not the whole way so now that's hanging on now take your carb you're gonna want to put your throttle in now Sometimes you don't have the space up here to get it in. All right, good, fit too. So thread your cap on. Now's a good time to look, look in here. All right, make sure you guys can see this. That's choke on, choke off. All right, so. You can see that the slide is down almost the entire way. That's good. And it's good. Reach up, grab your throttle, turn it a couple times. Make sure it feels right. If it's not moving right, you might have an issue. Might have the cable might be the wrong length or something. So good to check it out before you spend the time getting everything hooked up. So all right, then your uh, start your bolt into your carb. And uh, I'll do a video here on how to select the correct carb. So 
keep an eye out for that. So bring these finger tight first, both sides. And then when you tighten these, you're gonna to wanna to tighten this one slightly, maybe a half a turn, half a turn, half a turn. If you tighten one the whole way, it'll squeeze one side in, and then when it goes to squeeze the other side in, it can crack that plastic, so. All right. And you don't need to tighten them a whole lot. This is aluminum. This is plastic. You'll feel them, it's kind of like resistant as it's squished in the gasket, and then it'll get to the point like right here. Gasket's squished. Okay, no more than that. As soon as you feel it start to get slightly harder, stop. All right, we're almost done. Gas line slides on here. Uh, there was another, okay, so there was a hose they sent along this one here. This is your drain for, uh, it's gonna be hard to see, but on the other side of the carb, there's a little, um, right, let's see here, right here. That is where the strain hose goes on. Let's see if I can give you an angle here of that. So that just slides right on there. And then you can route the hose kind of round down. Usually, so my exhaust would be, oops, let me that here. my exhaust is there, so I'd want to route this down here. And then there's often a little clip you can clip it into right there. So, all right, so that's hooked up. Uh, I guess we got an intake to put on yet, but just throw that on quick. Here, rather than turning this little screw for two minutes, good to go. Let's see if this thing starts. Shoot, now I always try to start it first without the choke. Um, even when it's cold out. Thank you. 